Welcome to the JoeScan sawmill scanning series. I'm Joey Nelson. I started JoeScan in 1999. And in 1999, scanning was already uh, being used in sawmills. It was a really critical element, but it was also very expensive. It was complex and often unreliable. So with JoeScan, I really sought to make a scanner that simplified scanning, made it more affordable and more uh, more reliable so that it can be used in more mills. And today, JoeScan makes a scanner that's really sets the bar for simplicity and reliability in sawmill scanning. This video series um, is, is kind of a new thing we're doing and it's kind of exciting uh, to be able to explain to the sawmill world what scanning is, how it's used, and, uh, and help, help people make more informed decisions about how to use it in their mill. Uh, so this series will have uh, five episodes. We're going to do this first one on the overview of scanning uh, in, the, in the sawmill, how it's used, uh, and then we'll dig into some of the specific applications where it's really commonly used and has a real big impact. Um, so we'll talk about carriage scanning, we'll talk about uh, scanning on edgers and gangs, scanning for the trimmer, and then we'll uh, do a an episode on uh, size control as well. So, To start off with, I'd like to really talk about uh, just 3D scanning, kind of what it is, uh, how it works, and, and just the basics of how it's used in the sawmill. And in sawmills, this ends up being really important because every log has a totally unique shape and it should be cut uh, according to that shape. It needs to be cut uh, so that when you get uh, out of the system, you'll get square boards instead of boards with round tops, uh, which the customers don't like. They don't, don't want to buy those boards. So to do that, you know, you, you need some kind of a technology to measure what that shape is. Um, the most common technology used in sawmills is laser line scanning. And so it uses a laser pro to project a fan of light that puts a line down onto the surface of a log or a board. And then if you look at that line from an angle, it'll have kind of a curved shape. And if you then go and take that uh, and image it onto a camera, you can measure exactly where that curve goes um, and figure out the, the surface uh, of the log to you know, sub-millimeter type accuracies and generate an entire 3D model for the whole log. So the JoeScan devices will do this, and then we'll hand that data off uh, over Ethernet to a optimizer's computer. And then the optimizer can do all the analysis and simulate the various ways to cut up the log and determine a cutting pattern that will give them the most, uh, the most value out of that given log. And they'll do that at production rate, log by log, and. Uh, and the impact of, of that on the mill's uh, recovery and efficiency and production is just enormous. Now, there's, there's really three types of scanning that are, that are common in mills. In addition to, uh, to geometric scanning, you know, one of them is uh, grade scanning. And grade scanning is oftentimes deployed in combination with, uh, with a geometric scanning. Uh, and it's really all about looking for the you know, usually on boards, it's looking at defects that don't show up in the shape. And so a common one would be, be a knot where it's, you know, it's there, it's a different color, it might affect uh, structural uh, character of, of the board, or it may just be an appearance type thing uh, for, a, for a hardwood board. Or it might be also stain, you know, uh, if you have a, a stained portion of a board, oftentimes uh, grade rules you know, will not, will not allow that and you'll want to trim that off. Uh, other ones would be uh, sometimes heartwood in the, versus sapwood and where that is in the board. Uh, embedded pitch pockets is, is another one. So there's, every species has got a, a different set of, uh, of grade characteristics they're looking at. And with grade scanning, you attempt to, by, by vision, by x-ray, and a number of other technologies determine where those defects are on a board so that you can either just 
assign a value to it or make some decision to to cut the board and uh, improve its improve its value. So uh, another type of scanning that's uh, been around for a while, uh, but it's become a lot more affordable and, and more common is a simple volume scanning. Uh, and there you're you're really looking at just what is the raw volume of, of logs? Each log that comes in, you know, on, on some scaling metric, how big is it? And then looking at, you know, either is your supplier supplying the logs they say they're supplying? Is there some discrepancy there? Also looking at the volume of logs you're taking in uh, versus the volume of lumber you're producing as a metric for how efficient your mill is running. And then the the most common uh, type of scanning that's used in sawmills and is really com uh, really important is 3D scanning. And so that's that's a geometric uh, shape scanning that we do. And it's used now throughout the mill. Uh, it'll be used at the outset at the bucking system. So they'll determine on a tree length uh, stem coming in, how, how should you cut it up to get the most value out of that log? Uh, the second one would be at a primary breakdown where you're actually starting to, to cut cants and flitches out of a board. Uh, and so, you know, how do you do that? How do you rotate the log? How do you orient it to ensure that the cants and flitches will be able to produce the most lumber? Uh, from there, the cants and flitches will, you know, potentially be passed downstream to a, an edger or a gang system. And again, um, you know, you, you don't just trust that the machine upstream did what, uh, what it said it was going to do. You need to, to rescan that again and determine now based on what was actually cut and how it's uh, being presented to the edger or the gang, you know, how should we, how should we cut this, this particular uh, cant or flitch? Um, and you know, you're making decisions on, on kind of the taper, um, the how the how the board is oriented, as well as the offset, um, and potentially adding multiple boards into an edger decision. Uh, after that, the the board will go to the trimmer, and then once again, you want to scan it. And often, this is a, one of the most critical ones because what goes from the trimmer is what really goes out of your mill, and it's your last chance to. Uh, to catch and fix any problems in the lumber. Um, so it's, a, it's also a really demanding application because uh, the accuracies they want are, are often high because it is that kind of final quality control. And it's also um, often the fastest system because all of the lumber of the whole mill is going through, through a trimmer. Um, beyond the kind of scanning for optimization, uh, geometric scanning has also found a lot of application in size control applications. So historically, size control was, uh, was an important part of mills to determine that the lumber that's being produced is of the proper size such that it'll be uh, planed uh, cleanly and produce uh, acceptable lumber. Uh, but as mills have become higher production and, and more complex, it's become difficult to do that as a manual process. And so Many mills have started to add uh, automated size control systems that use uh, geometric scanning. And they'll put that after each machine center so that not only are you scanning before the machine center to determine uh, how you should cut the log, you're also then uh, scanning after the machine center to make sure that you did cut it the way you want and that the machine is operating correctly. So this has been a broad overview of scanning in the sawmill. I hope it's been informative and useful, particularly for people who are new to the industry or uh, are operating in the mill that doesn't have scanning yet. Future videos in the series are really going to dig into the details of how scanning is used at various machine centers and, and the benefits that it brings. So follow us on YouTube, uh, follow our social media, check out our website at joscan.com. If you have any specific questions about an application of scanning for your mill, please reach out to us. You can either email us or, or uh, call us, or you can uh, call any of our system integrators. Uh, a list of them can be found on our website under our authorized resellers page. So until the next video, keep sawing.
Thank you.